Hey everyone, DMV Solar Rider here. Sorry for the audio overlay, but the other day I had to change my schedule and I was able to get to a demo day at Indiana Fredericksburg at the last minute. Off I went, having given zero thought to how to present my rides, basic info and specs about the 2020 bikes and all of that. So I'm just going to share my rides with you. I'll mix in some basic specs and pretty pictures for each bike from Indian's website, where you can go yourself for more detailed info. Mostly I'm just going to share how each ride felt to me. Just keep in mind I've only been riding for a year with about 13,000 miles under my belt, 5,600 of them on a 2019 Indian Scout, and 7,500 on a 2019 Indian Chieftain Dark Horse. Hope these are helpful. If you're curious about these bikes, ride safe. We are on the 2020 Chieftain Limited, which has the bigger 116 engine. Curious to see how the new Chieftain rides. It's in sport mode. Feels like what I'm used to so far. <laughs> somehow, somehow, someway, I'm flat footing this bike when I can't flat foot my own. That makes no sense whatsoever. Maybe the tires are really low. Sport mode is super jerky. Don't want sport mode. Got it in standard. It is a much more comfortable touring riding mode than uh, sport on this bike, especially since we're not really opening them up. To be honest so this is a bigger engine it's the 116 not the thunderstroke 111 which is what i have i don't feel much of a difference to be honest i know there is a difference i just don't really feel it i mean torque feels similar to my bike I like the new ride command wish i had it for car play i'm so upset like three days ago, Indian makes a big grand announcement. They come out with CarPlay for all their 2020 baggers and touring line. But that doesn't include the 2019 Chieftain that I bought on the last day of February in 2020. I am bitter. Bitter little man. That I can't get CarPlay on my Chieftain. That is a big miss for Indian since you can get it on any Harley. Rear cylinder deactivation is on.
Maybe, I just don't know what I'm looking for, but it feels no different than my bike. I know it has more horsepower, I know it has more torque, it doesn't really feel any different. So far, the only main difference is for some reason I can flat foot this bike and I can't flat foot mine. <laughs> Makes no sense whatsoever. As Blockhead would say, the gear is nice and solid, clicks into place easily, upshifts, downshifts nicely, clutch isn't too much or too little. I mean, it feels great, feels great. My bike feels great. I'm just not noticing any big difference. And as I keep saying, it might just be that I don't know what it is I should be looking for. Is it top end, low end? I don't know. Feels great, feels normal. And yeah, it's so much heavier than, you know, a Scout or Scout Bobber, but man, it's just amazing to me how well they balance this bike. It, you just don't feel the weight when you're underway. Not at all. It's a great handling bike, takes these corners without a second thought. And I don't know what group riding protocol is. Is it bad to move over to the, the side of the road when you're cornering? Someone's behind you? No idea. my two inch handlebar risers and my reduced reach handlebars that's for sure and my backrest <laughs> my bike is so comfortable now I just I just want to be on my bike <laughs> that's so far my friends that is my number one takeaway from from Indian demo day I just wish I was on my chieftain <laughs> which is my bike in every sense of the word gravel there So, I mean, the Limited, Chieftain Limited is a beautiful bike, you know, if you don't want that dark horse look or basic entry-level Chieftain, which looks phenomenal as is. I mean, it basically, it's just a paint job, and it costs a lot more than even my dark horse. I just, I can't imagine doing that.
you know, I really miss having my backrest. It makes such a difference on this bike to have a backrest locking you in place. The Rogue seat does a nice job with that little lip it has of, of keeping your butt in the seat, but that backrest just makes you feel indestructible. <laughs> so, like I mentioned, we're in sport mode. It's definitely got kick. Anyone who thinks a chieftain is just a slow, lazy tourer is fooling themselves. God, I'm telling you, this bike is just so refined. Everything feels so nice. The transmission is like perfection. The hand, the grips feel great. I mean, there's no vibration, not really. I got more in my bike because of the stuff I've done to it. Man, I'm just dazzled by this motorcycle every time I ride it when I ride mine riding this limited you can't beat it I mean, I'll try and ride the Challenger again I chose an Indian Chieftain over the Indian Challenger I just it was just more comfortable everything about it I loved it honestly I kind of like the way it looks on this side of the bike compared to the Challenger's dashboard but you know, I'll admit that Challenger headlight's pretty spit. I dig it. That, my friends, is the 2020 Chieftain Limited. Beautiful bike. Absolutely love my Chieftain. Love this Chieftain. Let's see what's next. <laughs>